really excited for today's video because it's actually been a long time since I posted my hair care routine. You guys have been asking for an updated version, so today's the day. I'm going to be sharing with you guys 10 tips for growing and maintaining healthy long hair. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment below. Make sure you're subscribed. And I want to give a big thank you to L'Oreal for sponsoring this video. I can't wait to share with you guys their new product launch. It is amazing. And with that, let's get into the video. My first tip for you guys is the foundation for growing healthy hair. It all starts at your scalp. So you definitely want to be using products that replenish your scalp and really focus on scalp care. And I have been loving these two products from L'Oreal Everpure. It's the Scalp Care and Detox Shampoo and Conditioner. It deeply cleanses, relieving scalp of dirt, product buildup, flakes, and oil all without stripping your hair, which is exactly what you want. I have really dry skin and my scalp is dry too, so this is just like my dream product. What I really love about this is that it's 100% vegan, sulfate-free, dye-free, paraben-free, and also has no gluten ingredients. It's gentle on colored hair, which is great because I have some highlights. It smells so good. It has menthol and neem leaf extract, so it's this really refreshing scent. So if you haven't washed your hair in a few days or you have product buildup because you've been using dry shampoo, or you've been styling your hair a lot and you really need to just reset, this is going to be your go-to. So I'm linking these below because I definitely recommend them. Click on the link down in my video description. Get some fresh flowers, light some candles, have yourself a little self-care day spa day at home. Tip number two is after you have applied your conditioner, you've let it sit for a couple of minutes in the shower, you need to change the water temperature to cold. Basically cold water is going to seal in the moisture from your conditioner into your hair cuticle. So it's actually really similar to skincare. When you're cleansing your face, you want to make sure that you rinse with cold water to basically close the pores. Flip the water temperature over to cold quick rinse and jump out of the shower before you're freezing. <laughs> so now that you have showered and washed your hair and it feels and smells amazing, it is time for it to dry. A blow dryer is just going to dry your hair out and it actually can cause breakage which makes your hair shorter. So what I like to do is after I shower, I just let my hair air dry while I apply my makeup. So I still use the blow dryer but I definitely use it less than I used to. Any air drying that you can do with your hair is going to help because it's just less time that your hair is exposed to all that heat which can be really damaging. A little tutorial on brushing your hair. It seems like it's easy but there's definitely a way that you want to go about it. It takes a lot of patience. Every time you find a little tangle you're pulling through that and it's just multiplying. You want to start brushing your hair at the bottom. You hold your hair like this and you just start in sections. So once you've brushed the bottom section, then you're starting to go up a little higher. Then you can just work your way up and then you can brush from the top down. It's just going to prevent breakage and your hair will love you for that. So now that your hair has dried, you've brushed it all through, you're tangle free. My next tip for you guys is not to use heat tools that often. So I only use a heat styling tool once a week. I'll curl my hair with a curling wand on the first day of the week and then the rest of the days I just kind of let it turn into looser waves but there's definitely ways that you can experiment to find hairstyles that work for you that you can do when you go to bed so I really like how my hair looks the next day when I put my hair into this hairstyle before bed and basically what I do is two Dutch braids the next morning when I wake up I'll take my hair out and it just has all of these little mermaid waves. I definitely recommend finding heatless ways to get styled hair as opposed to using heat tools whenever you can. But these little rubber bands cause a lot of breakage. Instead of using these little guys, you're gonna want to use scrunchies. <laughs> oh wow. I am obsessed with scrunchies, especially these huge jumbo satin scrunchies. The fact that it has fabric and isn't just that 
thin rubber band directly on your hair. This is just so much more gentle on your hair. It doesn't put all the pressure on one tiny line. It kind of like spreads the pressure out into all of the fabric. And I think they're even cuter than rubber bands anyway. My next tip is not to wash your hair often. I actually wash my hair only once a week. You can also use dry shampoo and just prolong the days that you can go. Every time you wash your hair, you're actually stripping your hair of its natural oils, which actually promote hair growth. And here are some hairstyle ideas for when you're reaching like day three, four, five. You guys probably know I always have a messy bun because your hair isn't parted and you're not really seeing directly into your scalp. I also love throwing on a big padded headband. It just kind of covers some of your head and allows you to hide some of the oils. And then lastly, you guys always see me wearing these hats. You can just throw a hat on. This hat is gonna make you look so cute and no one will have any idea that your hair is on like day five <laughs> of not washing. My next tip is apply oil to the ends of your hair. And my favorite kind to use is just coconut oil. Pro tip is you're gonna want to heat up the coconut oil a little bit just so that it's warm, make sure that it's not hot. And then just with your fingers, you can just apply it to the ends of your hair. It will add a little bit of shine and hopefully prevent some of those split ends because it really just gives your hair that moisture that it needs. And the reason that you want the coconut oil to be a little bit warm is so that it opens the hair cuticle so that it can absorb the moisture. Next tip is a little bit fancy. Get a silk pillowcase. Okay, not only does this just feel really fancy and comfortable and luxurious, but it actually is a lot better for your hair and also your skin, which is great. Because it's so soft and gentle and your hair kind of like slides on it, it doesn't get stuck when you're laying on it or tossing and turning in the night and it actually prevents breakage. And tip number 10 is to get regular trims. I know this sounds completely counterintuitive. Every time that you get the bottom trim, you're just making sure that your ends are healthy. Whenever you have split ends, your hair is just breaking off and becoming shorter and shorter. Make sure to comment down below what hair care tips work for you so we can all help each other out. And make sure you guys check out the L'Oreal Ever Pure products. They're linked below. They are going to be a lifesaver. Make sure you guys follow my Instagram at Courtney Michelle, and I love you from the bottom of my heart, and I will see you in my next video.